Hey love, welcome. I'm Greta and I help girls and women learn about and connect with their periods and menstrual cycles, help them to step into their truest selves and learn how to take care of the deeper parts of themselves. So if that's something that you want to, then subscribe and stick around. Why do periods happen? That's a really good question. So in order to understand why periods happen, we have to understand the menstrual cycle. Okay, so your period is part of your menstrual cycle. Your menstrual cycle starts when you get your very first period. Your first period is called menarche. So once you get your very first period, your menstrual cycle begins and it repeats itself about every 28 days or so. Your menstrual cycle is made up of two phases, the follicular phase and the luteal phase, and then two events. And those events are your period and ovulation. The phase that comes first is the follicular phase. This phase starts with your period and your period lasts three to seven days, but the follicular phase lasts about 14 days. So your period is a part of this phase of your cycle, but, but it goes longer than just your period, if that makes sense. And it's called the follicular phase because throughout this phase, follicles containing eggs in your ovaries are developing. So that's where you get that word follicular is from these follicles that are developing eggs. I have my cute little uterus up here who's falling down. <laughs> and so this is the ovaries. These are the ovaries on either side. So this is where these eggs are developing. So your period is happening here in your uterus and these follicles containing eggs are in your ovaries. So that's how this is kind of beginning simultaneously. So yes, your period starts your uterus is shedding, and then these eggs are developing in the follicles in your ovaries. So that's the, the main happenings of the follicular phase. And once your period stops, you're still in your follicular phase for a bit. And this is when your uterine lining is building itself up with blood and nutrients. It's thickening its uterine wall. Your uterus is going to keep thickening um, with nutrients and blood, and these follicles are going to keep developing the eggs. And then what happens is one of the eggs that's being developed becomes the most dominant. So it becomes like the biggest, strongest, best egg. And eventually it pops out of this follicle. So this most dominant follicle releases its egg and this is the event of ovulation. And ovulation marks the second phase, the second half of your menstrual cycle. And this is called the luteal phase. So the luteal phase begins with ovulation. So this event where the most dominant follicle releases its egg, that marks this second phase of the menstrual cycle, which is the luteal phase. This phase is going to last from the day you ovulate, which is around day 14. It's going to vary depending on the length of your cycle, but around day 14, and it lasts until you get your period again. So through the luteal phase, your uterus is thickening with nutrients and blood, and it's doing this because the follicle that released its egg, it's forming a structure called a corpus luteum, and that's a temporary endocrine gland, which is just a fancy name for a structure that's releasing hormones. So it's releasing the hormones estrogen and progesterone, and that's what helps this uterine lining build up with more nutrients and blood. And again, it's doing that because the goal of your menstrual cycle from a purely biological standpoint is to prepare for a pregnancy. It's all working together to prepare your body for a pregnancy. But don't worry, pregnancy doesn't just randomly happen. It happens through intercourse where a male's sperm fertilizes that egg you released. But we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just talking about periods. So when an egg is not fertilized, this structure, the corpus luteum, it starts breaking down about 9 to 11 days after ovulation. And this corpus luteum was releasing these hormones, progesterone and estrogen, but now it's breaking down. And with that, our hormones start to lower and, and drop. And this is what causes your period to start again, this really low level of hormones. And once again, you shed your uterine lining that you just built up, which brings us back to your original question, why do periods happen? Periods happen because your body was created with the ability to become pregnant. And it does this by way of the menstrual cycle. But when pregnancy isn't happening, your body is always cycling, which means your period is necessary for the cycle to start again. 
I hope this gives you a good answer to why periods happen. And there's so much more to your period, so much more to your experience of your period and your your story with it. It's so much more than just this biological function of your body. It's way more than that. And I hope that if you want to learn more about that, more about your menstrual cycle, more about your period, I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around because there's just so much to learn. Thank you so much for watching this video and for being here. I hope you found it valuable. I'm here for all of your questions and thoughts and I will see you in my next video. Bye, love!